Well, scientific community scratching their heads after the Minister for Indigenous Affairs told the BBC that Vegemite was being used by Aboriginal communities to make homebrew. NITV News has fact-checked the claims and how they spread so quickly. Danny Tease Johnson puts the Vegemite back in the fridge. They say that news travels fast. A newspaper report says the people are buying up to 20 jars of the sandwich spread and fermenting the yeast in it to make alcohol. The yeast product is reportedly being made into alcohol in large quantities, sometimes in bathtubs and backyards, with children said to be getting drunk on the home brew. It was even reported in a robot voice. Nigel Scullion described the salty spread as a precursor to misery. But the story of Vegemite homebrew in remote Aboriginal communities has caused outrage in those communities and in Parliament House. Opposition spokesperson Shane Newman said the government had created a ridiculous sideshow of stereotypes. Which has served to peddle negative stereotypes of Aboriginal people. But we thought it was a myth, so we thought we'd check the facts. I think it's bunk and I think it's highly unlikely that you would use Vegemite to produce alcohol at home. Images of Aboriginal children sitting around bathtubs in remote communities sucking Vegemite homebrew out of straws was smeared around the world. The rumour sparked a global media storm, with over 250 organisations from around the world reporting a tiny rumour into a global fact. Some of these media outlets are the largest and most respected in the world, but none of them fact-check the story, and they have millions upon millions of subscribers. It started with the BBC splashing it on the front of its website, then it got lifted by other large UK press, the Daily Mail and the Independent. Before too long, the sale to America's largest media outlets, including Time Magazine, The Washington Post, The Huffington Post, and The Chicago Tribune. And it didn't stop there, ending up in Scotland, Canada, Malaysia, Singapore, New Zealand, and India, to name a few. All with the headline, Aboriginal children getting drunk off Vegemite. Just Google Vegemite news in the last week, and you can see it for yourself. I just find it so insulting that the government uh, that Senator Scullion makes these comments when they have failed to address consistently issues around a minimum price on alcohol, stood by while the Northern Territory Government got rid of the banned drinkers register. Dr John Boffer from the People's Alcohol Action Coalition says the stereotype is another insult, particularly as people in the Northern Territory are still suffering from the stereotypes which preceded the infamous NT intervention. It's just a good example of why we can't base policy on anecdotes. I mean, stories, you hear stories all the time, um, particularly you hear stories about how alcohol regulation, um, pro not just prohibition, but other forms of supply reduction, don't work and they're being undermined. Everyone's drinking metho, everyone's doing this, everyone's doing that. The House of Representatives Committee into Indigenous Affairs produced a report in June on alcohol in Aboriginal communities. So far, only one of the 23 recommendations have been actioned by the Minister for Indigenous Affairs. But if you take that report, and it's a very thick report, and you use Control F and look for Vegemite, you won't find Vegemite. You won't even find home brewing in that report. NITV News has tried to speak with the Indigenous Affairs Minister Nigel Scullion all week, but he has refused to answer our calls or clarify his comments to the BBC. So our mob took to social media to hit back with humour. So where's my Johnson from the Vegemite back in the fridge. For NITV News.